first whiskey you tried was the 12 year old cherry cask and amongst the two we ask you to select for representing the distillery is another sherry cask but a little bit different from the first one which is it patrick uh, the second whiskey i like to present is the my best selling whiskey this is the whis whiskey that you know is is, is the, my by far my best selling whiskey this is the millstone peated px so it's um a peated mash bill so it's it's made of peated mm -hmm. uh, malt barley in this case 55 ppm uh, malted barley and it's aged in old solera production bodega whatever you want to call it uh, px sherry casks that means uh, taste wise that uh, is the peat very upfront or is it in the background i think be, because of the way we distill it even mm -hmm. with uh, 55 ppm malt is, is called um, uh, you know, strongly peated uh, malt, but I think even people that are not huge fans of peated whiskey uh, still like this whiskey because it is quite elegant, even in its you know bold flavors. Because it's a you know this you can see from the color, it's a first fill mm -hmm. PX cask, and it's a peated whiskey, so it's both are bold flavors. That's just why they. They go together so well. So both are bold flavors, but, but still, I think the resulting whiskey is quite elegant and balanced. Mm. Uh, the alcohol strength of this one is? It's also 46. Okay. I have to say with these old sherry casks, with these old casks, it is very difficult to make whiskey that is lower in alcohol than 46 because you tend to get a lot of and you have flocculation cloud and uh, cloudiness mm. in the whiskey mm. otherwise yeah let's pour it and see how it tastes and smells and how it looks in the glass see again this is of course you know uncolored like all our whiskies mm -hmm. and unchill filtered because i don't have a chill filter um hence the flocculation on occasion when it gets cold Especially with these PX cast, that is mm. absolutely a thing with PX cast that you sometimes have, you know, cloudiness in the whiskey that you cannot avoid unless you chill filter but it. But it doesn't influence the flavor at all. No, I think you, if you're truly honest about it, that you might say it enhances the flavor because you leave things in the whiskey mm. that that give you a wider of course. flavor profile. Yeah, immediately as you smell it. It is this gentle smokiness overlying the whiskey without, you know, immediately overpowering the whiskey itself. And even in the taste, um, these bold, bold flavors that you would expect are actually quite mellow, both of them, both the PX and the, the, the peat is quite mellow and you know, well integrated into the rest of the flavor profile. Mm -hmm. And it uh, seems to be your best selling, you said? Yes, it's yeah. my best selling. Then it must have a reason. Usually it does. Yeah. It actually does. Yeah. Yeah, I think the best selling whiskey usually is the one that, that speaks to the widest audience. So this speaks to peat lovers. Yeah. But it also speaks to people that are not naturally drawn to peated whiskey, but like a little bit of, of something special to their whiskey. Have you bottled that at cask strength as well? On occasion. On occasion. On occasion, we, we did some bottlings for our German importer Kisch. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a cask strength version of, of the same whiskey. Okay. So thank you for your insights here. And it was a pleasure being with you at the distillery. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you.